So let's talk about the six rights of medication administration. By following these six rules, you're going to be able to keep your patient safe, which, as we know, is really kind of the number one thing the NCLEX is looking for, and just do a good job as a nurse. So the first right is the right drug. What we want to know here is, is this the drug that the uh, physician ordered, okay? In most hospitals and in, and in most places you'll work, a lot of all this is going to be done in an electronic medical record. Usually you'll scan the patient and then you'll scan the drug, and you want to make sure that that drug matches what the physician has ordered. So is it the right drug? What's the expiration date? Especially with things like insulin, uh, this is going to matter. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Now let's talk right dose. Are you giving the dose that the physician ordered? Um, you need to perform any, any calculations that you might need. We've talked about drug calculations already. Let's go into right route. This is one that, that uh, the NCLEX will question you on quite a bit. Uh, now remember, when a medication order is written, you need to have uh, the medication, the dose, and you need to have the route. So on your, on your medication order, it should say IV, it should say PO, it should say PR, it should say the, the route that the medication is to be given. If you don't have a route for a medication, don't give it. Next one is right time. This one's important to talk about because medications are scheduled and need to be given at specific times, like levothyroxine, that needs to be given in the morning before a meal. Your rapid-acting insulins need to be given right, right before a meal. And, and there's just specific times. Some medications need to be given right before bed. Your hmg coi reductase inhibitors, for example, need to be given before sleep. Because medications are on specific time schedules and they work on specific time schedules, it's incredibly important that you're giving it at the right time. This might just seem like a convenience issue, but it's not. The way that some medications work, they're very sensitive to the time that they're given. The next one here is right patient. I don't have to talk too much about this. Obviously, is this the right medication for the right patient? And the one thing that you'll be tested on with the right patient is going to be two identifiers. Make sure you do two patient identifiers, um, name and birth date, hospital record number, whatever it is. If your patient isn't able to speak, you need to be you know, verifying their, their name and birth date with what you see on their wristband versus what you see in the chart because mistakes can happen and you really just don't want a patient's safety, your career, and everything to come down to giving the wrong medication to the wrong patient. Lastly, let's talk about documentation. You need to be documenting your medications after giving them. Don't document that you gave a medication prior to giving it. Don't scan it, save it before going in the room, before giving the medication or anything like that because anything could happen. The patient may develop nausea, the patient, you might, you might get called away. They might not get that medication. If you document that it was given and it wasn't actually given, then, then that's an issue, okay? And if you don't ever give a medication, make sure you document why you didn't give it. So these are really the basic six rights of medication administration. Keep in mind that it's essential to know patient safety, to keep your patient safe, and these six things right here are going to be how you keep your patient safe. Make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.